know, I think the reality of the transportation business is that you always have to be prepared for safety issues. And safety is a critical priority for a company like Lime. Uh, we always want to be providing as much education as we can to our riders and do everything that we can in the product to make it as safe of an experience as possible for them. And of course, part of the solution is also working with cities to create safer infrastructure and to educate motorists. Unfortunately, just like cyclists, scooter riders are vulnerable when they're on the streets. Um, they, they're operating a small lightweight vehicle, which is amazing in terms of the utility that it offers and how sustainable it is, not contributing to traffic, having a zero carbon footprint. Um, but that also means that we need to create safe spaces for them to operate where they're not coming in contact with high speed cars that maybe aren't used to um, interacting with um, small vulnerable vehicles on the street. So we're actively working that on the policy side as well as educating our riders about using helmets and other measures they can take to stay safe. Of course, we're in a really tricky transitional period, so totally understand. Uh, has this incident changed anything that's uh, been, been happening inside your company operationally and, and how you think about rolling out in the future? You know, I think that in any moment like this, you want to pause as a company and be thoughtful about whether we can do more and look at some of those educational efforts. And we are, have had, always had an ambition of ramping up the methods that we use to distribute helmets to our riders. We've always instructed folks to use helmets and encourage them to do so, let them know about their state and local laws. Um, but now we are embarking on other ways that we can make those more accessible. For example, you mentioned Santa Monica. In Santa Monica, we partner with a variety of small local retail businesses who are willing to distribute helmets to our riders. Um, so folks can just come in, show them the app, let them know that they're a Lime user and pick up a helmet for free, which really makes that more accessible for people. So we'll look at efforts like that 